World famous chalk artist David Zinn is known for his colorful drawings that are found in places you'd least expect them. He calls Ann Arbor home and is considered a treasure among residents who regularly discover his creatures on sidewalks, walls, and rocks. Our Meredith Bruckner met up with Zinn at 5th and Liberty Street in Ann Arbor to get an up close look at how he creates his memorable art. That's the right place for his nose. David Zinn spends most of his days on an arbor's old west side, kneeling on sidewalks and drawing colorful creatures in plain sight. He uses everyday imperfections like cracks in the ground, manhole covers, rocks, and plants as inspiration for what he draws. Just over a decade ago, he had a full time job as an illustrator, but when he started doodling with chalk on the ground, that's when people really took notice. People were vaguely interested in my commercial illustration, but when I started drawing something that had no usefulness whatsoever, people were a lot more interested in me doing more of that. So gradually that just became not so much my procrastination from my job, but it became my job. A job that has earned him more than two million followers across his social media channels. Perhaps his most famous creature is Sluggo, a recurring neon green character who emerged by accident. The first time I drew him, he started out as a, an attempted drawing of a human child that went very, very badly. <laughs> Though he's drawn all over the world, the majority of his work can be found in this picturesque historic neighborhood in Treetown. I know from Facebook albums that I used to keep that I draw at least 100 things every year. I draw probably 90% of them within walking distance of my house. Um, and I've been doing this for well over 10 years so that's more than a thousand things that I've drawn just on this side of Ann Arbor which is why it's it's lucky for all of us that they wash away in the rain because boy that would be a nuisance <laughs> if they were all still here It'd be awful <laughs> people are a large part of his job hey guys how's it going the small drawings can take up to two hours to complete since passers-by often stand in amazement and ask Zinn about his process He's also a favorite among local children who call him by his first name. I've actually had parents leave their kids with me while they go do some shopping. So you go from being this exile to being a part of the fabric of your community in one afternoon. Despite the impermanent nature of his work, he's done some permanent installations around town wrapping power boxes and on brick facades. One painting, however, has flown under the radar. So this next guy we're going to visit, um, he is unusual in that he may be my only piece of actual graffiti. And because he's on a wall, he didn't wash away completely. So I snuck back and I painted him in permanent paint. And I think no one has complained yet because he's so small, no one has really noticed that he's there. <laughs> in fact, right next to this massive future mural, which is going to be spectacular. There's this one tiny little winged pig just sitting in a window. Sin says not only is he not saddened by the fact that his drawings wash away, he's thankful for it. He says the pressure to be perfect and make something that's lasting simply evaporates when you create art that is there for a few fleeting days. Not being able to take it home means you just enjoy that moment of making it without any of the baggage that usually follows. Holding on to things is usually a source of anxiety, and letting go of things is usually where you're gonna find the most peace. Reporting in Ann Arbor, Meredith Bruckner, CBS News, Detroit.